Hello, what is up everyone? Today I will be reviewing Sun Gohan Beast from SH Figure Arts. And oh my goodness, the box looks amazing. Look at that! Yo! And they got the smile on the top of the box. Oh, well, I think the box looks amazing, but let's go ahead and get inside the box. Now, straight out of the box appearance-wise, he doesn't look that much different from the other Ultimate Gohan, but there are some notable differences, including the tatters and tears around the sculpt tenures on the back here as well as some of the scratches that you can see sculpted on there as well as a lighter shade of purple as well as the soft plastic around the shirt which gives him a much cleaner outline and of course the white hair has a little bit of shading on it i do appreciate that and overall i think the sculpts uh looks gorgeous this figure is the same height as the other Ultimate Gohan, minus all the hair. So to the top of his hair, he is seven and a fourth inches tall. Now straight out of the package, he comes with two fist hands as well as a neutral expression face. He also comes with a gritting teeth face as well as the iconic confident smirk he gave to Cell Max, along with an angry open mouth face. There is an additional face part for the ultimate Gohan for when he first transforms into Beast Gohan. Also, along with the fist hands, these next three pairs of hands came on the ultimate Gohan as well, starting with the style pose hands, two grabbing hands, two Kamehameha hands, and the hands that only come with this are crossed arms effects a special beam cannon charging right hand along with a special beam cannon effect piece that is attached to the right hand along with a stand and face and the actual effect piece itself is very brittle so be careful but the stand itself has good range. And out of all the accessories, this one's my favorite. One more thing before I move on to articulation. Head swaps for the Beast Gohan and Ultimate Gohan bodies are completely possible. Furthermore, these two figures are fully compatible with each other. Now for articulation, his head sits on a double ball peg. The head can go up this far and it can go down this far, but you do have to be careful with the head because if you go down too far it'll pop off so one thing to keep in mind he has neck articulation as well and he does have a butterfly joints right here and nearly a full rotation going around he can hit a very good t pose and he has a bicep swivel along with the double jointed elbow which does look pretty good and he has the wrist joints now moving on to the chest articulation it can rotate freely horizontally and with this piece there's actually articulation hidden under there you just can't see it he's able to rock his chest side to side and it goes up this far, and it can go down this far. Trading just a little bit of articulation on the chest for a clean appearance. So moving on to the legs, you have the, the knee, looks great. And the kick looks amazing as well. He does have 180 degree splits, which that's awesome. And he has the thigh swivel along with a ankle rocker right here and a toe hinge. And going back with the legs is a little limited because of the sculpted piece, you, you just have to get creative with it and go off to the side, like all these recent figures. But I'd say overall his articulation is great, especially with the creativity 
put on to the shirt piece with the soft plastic. So overall, I'd say I really enjoy it. Overall, I think this SH Figure Arts Beast Gohan is amazing from the creative introductions with the soft plastic on the articulation to the wide assortment of accessories all the way to the sculpt. I think he is amazing. He is a premium Bandai exclusive, which means he may be a bit pricey, but I would definitely say for any avid Dragon Ball fan or figure collector in general, I say he is definitely worth it. This will have to do it for the review of SH Figure Arts Beast Gohan. Bye.